Many of the patients at Peel Health Campus are over 65, so caring for people with cognitive impairment is integral for our service. The care we provide for patients living with dementia at Peel Health Campus is evolving as we learn more about the disease. What I think we do really well is we seek feedback, we listen to our patients and families because they're at the centre of our care. SAFE is an adaption of a programme called Safe Wards. Um, Safe Wards was introduced in the UK. We walk them through simulation where they can see what a patient with dementia may go through. We do certain little simulation games in our safe training um, in terms of if you've got um, a visual impairment, um, if you've got certain problems associated with dementia in terms of speech or language and what that's like to actually live in a world of a dementia patient. Early assessment of older patients who may have a cognitive impairment is essential which is why we screen um, on admission. What we do when the patient is admitted and we realise that the patient has got a cognitive impairment, we find out from the carers is what do they like to do? So it's a really basic, who am I? One of the biggest things that we did was signage. Um, it's also very difficult um, for people with dementia to actually read signs as well. So we looked at the colour coding. Um, one of the last colours the ageing eye sees is yellow. So what we did was we looked at um, signs for toilets and showers um, and bathrooms in a yellow background with blue writing. So Jim Duckerman, um, his main complaint was around the fact that there were communication issues from the ward with him and also issues around the fact that the ward wasn't managing patients with cognitive impairment correctly. Sue Birtwistle met with them first and spoke to Jim and his daughter and learned about what had happened and how we could have done better and how we could meet that need. What they'd done is they were so interested in um, improving dementia care in the hospital environment, they'd gone away and done some research uh, and they came back to present that. So I was invited to listen to that and then after that we, we arranged to have a full day session and just map out a, a patient journey and find out from um, a dementia family's point of view how they found it, what the gaps in the service were and basically just to see what we could learn from the experience. Yeah, they took our complaints seriously and we, so we sat down with Sue and we put out a great big spreadsheet and we went through the whole story from the time Pat came into ED until the time she passed away and we went through every problem. From then on the management went through them all, things started to develop and, and I know there's been a lot of changes that we presented have already been implemented? Well the action plan looked at um, education. Education was a big thing that we needed to improve. So we got Carers WA to come in and do some education with our ED staff, our reception staff. The geriatrician did an education session with GPs to say ring me, I'll give advice, you can start medication before they actually come to see me. So let's see if that makes improvements to patients' memory. And then the last thing we looked at was the environment. You know, patients in for a while, it's white walls, it's not inviting, so it was looking at what we could do to make it more stimulating. So today we continue to work with Jim Duckerman. He sits on our Community Board of Advice. He's been heavily involved in a lot of the work that we want to do about, around improvements. It's very powerful when you have um, somebody who's put a complaint in to talk to you about their experience. Um, and he will talk to the staff here, let them know how he felt and, and what it meant to him so that they truly understand and get that perspective. It wasn't to berate the hospital, it was to get the story across because we didn't want to see that happen to anybody else. I really couldn't be proud of the staff and the management of the hospital here. Yeah, they're doing a fine job. <laughs>